Okay, so uh, we're going to start the day off with a little bit of burn. Um, Tommy sends us in as his, his subject for the month. Um, the the main board is the exact 60 we played last time. The sideboard, we've we've changed about half of it. Um, this left pile is everything is the same. The, the right pile here is everything we're trying out. <coughs> Fire Dancer's here for, like, humans as a way to, to be able to just turn all of our spells into into searing effects. Um, Skullcrack is just like a another way <clears throat> I'm anticipating like a uptick in like Night of Autumn and Skullcrack is is good against that deck. Um, we're also trying out another path just for another the the creature matchups. And then trying out two risk factors over the exquisite firecrafts. Um, this is something we ran into yesterday. Um and it seems it seems pretty decent, so we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot, and we'll go from there. Skillfully blast the die roll. Sounds great. <clears throat> and this ends great. We're gonna burn some people out. Oh, so this is uh, either. Bant spirits or humans. I'm betting on humans. I think I'm gonna go Goblin Guide on one into Swiss Spear into Burn Spells. Uh, opponent looks very dead so far. Hey, what's up, Abram? Surprised I didn't see you come around yesterday at all, man. Were you alive for quite a while yesterday? I'm, I'm going to say it's humans. And I have the, I have the answer for the Night of Autumn right here. So even if it, even if it was taxes. Don't name Helix. Okay, good. <laughs> That's fine, man. I understand. I understand all too well.
Is this picking up my Swiss spear? Yep. So if we I think I want to Helix plus the spin rift bolt. I guess it's a three drop. It's completely reasonable. I don't like it right now, but it's completely reasonable. So we can Helix them, Rift Bolt. The next turn plays Swiss Spear, Helix. I like it. Let's just let's just burn our opponent out. We can also Helix the Reflector Mage attacking with Goblin Guide. I don't hate that. Yeah, let's just maximize the damage with this Goblin Guide. Like, if they want to block with the, uh, the Meddling Mage, that's fine by me. What's up, Tommy? I'm assuming this is on Rift Bolt. Because they're big jerks. I'm assuming this is on Swiss Spear. So we know they have a territory in hand. This is another lieutenant. Helix you. I think the only spell we've drawn this game has been this Rift Bolt. If you donate, I will I will gladly add it to the queue. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it today. Just because I have this, I'm going to play um, Abram's sub deck from this month. I'm gonna have, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna play Abzan as well, but, and I don't know what time uh, we're gonna go do tacos, Drew. You never you never told me what time we're meeting for tacos.
When you draw nothing but lands, your deck's not very good. Is it wrong to cut, like, Swift Spear in this matchup? Or, like, Eidolon? Just, like, the dudes that aren't getting in? I think it's fine to cut Eidolon because they're racing. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think it's time to cut Lava Man. And then maybe, like, a Bolt. Like, a Rift Bolt. What's up, man? How was the stream last night? I stopped by for a while. Man of Traders, why you gotta do me dirty? Giving me mismatching goblin guides. I I did not. Um, at one point, me, me and Carl were sitting here watching it, and I fell asleep. So, Carl, do you have the clip? I want to see this. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Dude, I I understand that all too well. I uh I go back and like listen to my videos. I'm like, who is that talking? Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I appreciate that. I sound great. <laughs> Good to hear. Um, I, was, I was talking to Carl last night. I think I'm going to be... Uh, I think I'm picking up a a webcam probably. I mean, not a webcam, a uh, a mic. Sometime shortly, probably this week, maybe next week. Actually, get a decent decent audio up in here. Um, I know. Um, blue is like, like the, the blue Yetis are really good and I've, I've heard they're like really good quality and they're not overly expensive for mics. So I'm probably going to look into getting one of those. Don't sing collector me. That's so incredibly rude opponent. That is so incredibly rude. No need to attack there because... Uh, they're just going to block, and I don't want to give them another free card, so. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I didn't see the second part of the clip with the burning inquiry. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, that's fantastic. Drew told me to, so yell at Drew. See, I, I cut the Eidolons, I cut a Rift Bolt. And then, yeah, the two Lava Man. Hell yeah, Carl. Carl's capture card came in. Fantastic Hearthstone hand. Yeah, sure. I would like to draw a second land. This Ponza. Fine. Blow up my lands. I don't care. Now they blew this one up, I'm going to be incredibly sad. Well, that's really rude. But hopefully it just don't matter. All right, put you to three. Have lots of live draws. Not a tireless tracker. How do I beat that? Yay, Blood Moon. I'm bringing these in for Utopia Sprawls. And it, uh, Utopia Sprawls is the big one because we can't tag a Blood Moon with it because we don't have a basic forest. <clears throat> Maybe something like this. Tommy, is this right? I don't I don't think I want the third one, but I think two is fine. I don't think there's anything else I want to bring in. Tommy has cornfield internet, so I'm waiting for him to respond. I think if they have a big dumb thing, we're not beating it, so. Well, 
Like if they have like a Thrag Tusk on turn three, I don't think we're winning that game. So I don't I don't think Path particularly makes a difference. Lava Man lets us just like burn their early dudes. I like Lava Man here. I'm gonna hit submit. I didn't think the I thought the blues were like fifty bucks. Are they are they over that? Goblin guy for maximum damage. Yeah, Best Buy has him at one thirty. Okay, so they're they're a little higher than I thought, but uh, no, Demi Eyes is one of. One of the guys I've met through Hoagland, um, who he actually just recently, he just last night started streaming. So, go give him a follow. His stuff last night was great. Opponent, you're going to have a bad time if you're playing this to Stone Rain me. My hand is very Stone Rain proof. Bob, you're not. I mean, Goblin Guide, you're, you're playing for the wrong team today, buddy. Ma and Pa. Goblin Guide. I mean... That's really awkward. And not really. Oh god, I am bad. I am awful. That could have gone face. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I could have bolted a token to keep keep my goblin guy around. Man, that was that was just all kinds of bad. Yeah, I deserve that one. Attack. They want to block, I'm going to helix it.
Scooz has our number. I'll give you that. Ah, you win. Ah, you win. All right, I talked myself into it. Sure. Uh, Abram, there's only five game leagues. There's only five match leagues on online. Now I'm going to go ahead and suspend a Rift Bull here. Tag. What's up, man? We missed you. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and spike there because that makes it where Kitchen Finks can't trade. And then I'm going to suspend this Rift Bolt. Um, is that right? I can't remember my own commands. There it is. I don't even know what all commands I have. I'm sure there's a few of them that are outdated. Oh shit, I forgot to suspend my uh my rift bolt. Oop. Oh, they should be at three. And now he has to block, otherwise this is lethal.
So now he has to have two blockers. And then he's still just dead to this Rift Bolt during my upkeep. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Go. Awesome. So yeah, he. I, I misplayed that because I forgot to suspend the second rip bolt because I got my. I wanted to get my F six value. All right. I'm I'm listening. This hand's great. A little land heavy, but this uh this works a lot like uh like Jeff's Jeff's uh. This works a lot like Jeff's chat um, stream does. The more money behind something, the the more we're I'm willing to play it. Um, so one dollar is one point in the queue. If you want to see something before it, just beat it. Um, sub decks automatically come in with ten points. Is this Ponza again? Eleven dollars would put technically would put you in first place, yes. Also, what do you want to see? I'm assuming some uh, waste not variant. Okay, um, go ahead and send me a link, and we can talk. I am I am always down to play more stuff. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. It's cute that you think you're untapping with that opponent. I did. I did see your clip this morning, Tommy. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. Turn for a win. I think I actually want the other skull crack.
Carl, how do you do the, uh, the things? The panels. The panels under the stream. I need to figure all that out. It's in the dashboard. Okay. That's something I'm going to have to fight with later. I don't think I can reasonably keep this against Ponza. Where they have a chance of blowing up my land on two. Streamlabs has a free link to edit your own. Huh, okay. I did not know that. Much better. Oh, okay. I think I've been here before. Yeah, I have I have looked into this before. I just have never actually set it up. Shock, 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 shock. Damn. Have a good one, man. I'll be here. Uh, do they do the From the Vaults online? Evidently, but I did not know that. Then that doesn't surprise me. Not at all. I'm going to try to set up to kill them next turn. Unfortunately, this Pia is going to make it a little more difficult, but... One bolt down.
Yeah, two was the Goblin God. Be smart. Oh, okay, so they're playing PA out here. Next turn we can go, hopefully, I don't know. I think we're just going to be relying on the top of the deck to win this one. It's like, this course is really stone walls us. And they have another bolt for another another dude as well. So between PA and, between PA, Corsair, and this other lightning bolt, I don't think we're getting in anytime soon on damage. Hmm. All right, so we're not looking too hot. I'm assuming this is BBE into this tracker. The last card in hand is Bolt. I'm just going to pass here. Uh, I'm going to skull crack this kitchen finks. And these these Swiss spears are on blocking duty. Probably gonna double block here. That takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm dead to this bolt. So we need our top card to be. This puts lethal on the table now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, six, seven, eight. That puts me dead to bolt. So I had to block the tireless tracker and the blood great elf. 
And then it just presents lethal? Okay. Because then I can block here. Take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, B. Yeah. I'm going to try something. I would love to play first. Yeah, I'll keep this. This hand seems seems pretty decent. We're gonna go Goblin God into one. Searing Blaze is Arbor Elf if they have it. I'm gonna guide. You're not doing this right. That's not an Arbor Elf at all. I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to pass here because if they have a dude, I want to be able to searing blaze it. If it's a big dude, I get path for it. If it's kitchen things, I have a skull crack in the path. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. They shouldn't have this kitchen face, but I'm bad. Yep. Yep. Land would be great. Sure. This is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent draw. 
Because now our boys is going to six them if we ever draw a land. I would like to draw land, please. Same Bliss is going to three them, kill both of their dudes. Hopefully. Land. Thank you. Let's see what they flip here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pass that. Alright, Seder Fire Dancer seems pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of cute. That's annoying. Yep. It's also kind of annoying. Land. Thank you. All right, so they're dead to like half our deck. We are doing it. One, two, three, four, five. So you can hit us for eight. All right, they see it. Ugh. Two different Ponza opponents. Oh well. Um, I don't. I don't know. It's fine. We'll be fine. This hand is a hand. This is a hand. Oh. 
Oh, banned spirits. Okay. All right. Nice hierarchy. That one, you. I'll take my four. All right, you're dead. I want these. Sure. Let's try it. So the thought process here is Eidolon, Eidolon isn't very good because we're going to be racing. And then as a result, I'm bringing in, uh, because they're a creature-based matchup, we're bringing in the Seder Wayfinders and the, I mean, the Seder Fire Dancers and the um, Paths. And then because they're in white, they because they're bent, they could have kitchen finks. I'm not sure what their their sideboard actually looks like. Tack. That's fine. We got a reader, chat. We got a reader. This mess from Wonder is going to be really annoying, I'm not going to lie. So I feel like they have rattle chains here, which is why they're leaving up. Spell Quiller. That's fine. So now my next lightning helix threes them, threes this, and then uh, I'm gonna have to shock next turn so I can cast the second helix. They have another spell color because that would be really bad.
That is really bad. Oh. Shock there means company. Okay, that's not awful for us. Getting this value off the table. Hopefully, we can draw a land and then we can. Syrian boys done this drunk skull captain. I mean, I guess we can just shoot it down anyway. That's really annoying. So we can love a man, the Thalia. We can then I'm gonna start an attack with the with the Swiss spear. Shoot down the captain, bolt down the queller, cast my helix, hopefully. I mean, they, they could pop the wanderer here, and that's just also fine by me. I'm assuming they're countering this one. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. And then they take three. And then Lava Man's ready to shoot something down again. Yep. I gotta think. I gotta do math. So I can blaze them in the hierarchy. That puts them down to six. Attack with the split spear puts them to four. 
And then, yeah. Back down to four. If they have a flash block, I get the Lava Man in. And then Lava Man finishes them off. Cool. Okay. That post board felt really, really more difficult than, than pre board. I'm not going to lie. That, uh, just, especially that last turn, I just needed to actually sit back and, and think for half a second before we acted, so. It's, it's okay to take things slow in the aggro deck for a moment. Hey, Carl, are, are you still around? I'm not seeing Carl. Yeah, sure. Okay, Polluted Delta. I was going to say it makes me think um, Grixis Shadow, but... It still makes me think Shadow. Maybe it's just the, the Jun Shadow or the Soltai Shadow like. Tarmogoyf. Okay. That one makes it really hard to get in and so they could have stub. So I don't think I want to, um, I don't think I actually want to bolt here. So I can trade my Swiss beer for their goif. I don't think that's worth it. And then I'm just gonna pass, shoot them with lava man, bolt them. I'm not gonna crack this because we have searing blazes on our deck. You know, we already have another fetch in hand, so. I think it'd be fine to fetch. Oh, I guess I guess they have um, ferocious. So if they have stub, it's a hard counter. So I guess there's no reason to try to play around it.
So they're just dead if they don't have anything here. They get the Boros Charm Lightning Bolt. Okay. Since they tapped their blue source, I'm going to kill them in response. Well, I should have activated Lava Man first. Because if they if they would have had a push when I fetched, I I give them another turn. Sure, let's try it. Carl is uh, currently streaming. He just left me. I'm going to go yell at Carl. All right, I'm done raiding Carl. I had to go harass him because he just leaves me. Trigger. Nice zero one. It's kind of a non-bow with my, my uh, Lava Man, but... Kill that one. It's gonna just be like Sultai control. Okay, take your three.
And I'm a thousand percent of the time attacking here. Because if they block, I'm going to helix it. Well, that's incredibly rude. Four to you. Four to you. And they're dead to bolt. We need one lightning bolt. All right, they're dead if we draw a bolt. What I meant to say is I was going to draw land. There's no reason not to just do this now while they're tapped out. Right, I am out of fetchable lands. Bolt, Lava Spike, Rift Bolt, Searing Blaze. Hooray! Cast another one. Okay, so deconstruction time. Um, the the state of wayfinders are actually pretty decent. Um, we we didn't get to play them against humans, but I feel like they would be really really good in that matchup. Um, I thought it was the other way around, where I thought it was if you damage a creature, they take damage. Which is a little, little better. It makes your uh, your steering blazes way better. But um, even even this way of just like clearing the way for your your ground creatures to be able to get in seems just fine. Um, and as a way to just like be able to prevent them from pressuring you, I I really like it. Um, risk factor we didn't get to we never brought in, so I don't actually. Have a uh, a criticism of it. Everything else felt really fine. I really I really like the the idea of fire dancer in the sideboard though. Um, just as just as a way to hedge against the the other creature based matchups.